Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Mix and Feed. It's doing a damn good job. So, Sunday here. Gonna get after probably pulling the kernel processor out of the chopper. Get that all ready for grass. Um, get myself ready. Since I got three, four days till I'm gonna head west, I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. So. And tire's not flat, so we're doing good. Time to pull the kernel processor, get this all cleaned up. So as you see now, there's just a bunch of gunk built up. So, gotta pull this right here, and I'll show you. There's a past video showing me putting it in, but so far I got the sharpening lines off. Gotta pull two belts off. Well, I guess three belts. Two, this one comes off for good. That runs the kernel processor. Got the controls already unhooked. All it is is a bolt there. And the bolt here and that's what actually holds the head all on and that's where it pivots so i take the nuts off i get everything as close as possible and then i ask somebody to come with the uh mini loader with the forks and just pick it up and i slide it out so i'll pull this kernel processor belt off um well by myself i'll get this piston off and then I'm pretty much ready to go. So it's really not that hard pulling it. it. Just takes a little bit of time. And once you figure it out, it really isn't too bad. So. I got some debris in here. One of these lines leaks a little bit up there, as you see right there. Gotta get that fixed this winter. My wedge bolt, I noticed was loose too. I don't know if I lost it or what, but that's just adjustment wedge. So this is what got bent when that bearing went out. But loosen that up, we'll be good. KP belts out. Not too bad. We'll tighten that spring back up. <clears throat> that just holds it up out of the way so it doesn't do anything slap around, but everything down in here is getting pulled out and then it's just a shoot in between, so. Slow, go up. Okay, go back. There's the cutter housing. A lot of stuff in there. Knives look good still, which they should didn't put them through any damage. Look at how packed in this is. Gotta get two bolts out of there, that old piece slides out, cut the zip ties, and then wash down. Be fun. Cut the grease lines off, got the two bolts out. So in theory, just wiggle it down without pinching your fingers. It's hard to do with one hand. There we go, I'll get it to the edge and then I'll pick it up with the other set of forks. There you go, Yanko, there's the mouse. 
He was barking at it. Hey, there's my knife. It's underneath here. It's underneath the tire. Mice live in these things, so it's key to keep them clean. Granted, this one doesn't have many wires for them to chew on, but it still has enough to chew on. GoPro, stop recording. Here we have it, right to the edge. I did forget about the back braces on there that hold the bottom of the pan. So you can drop it if you get it plugged, you can work inside of it. Oh. Here it is. So that's just everything that fell down. The rollers are inside there, up through the pipe. The spare parts are actually in the back of my pickup, or the parts for hay, because I brought them just in case I had an issue when I was chopping for the, the beef guy. Because I did that last year. I had an issue and pull, ended up pulling this. lost my magnet off the bottom of it. That's not good. Gonna have to do something. And I'll get it moved out back. Um, take off any of these nuts and bolts and stuff like that. So I don't lose it. Shut doors. And then I'll wash everything. So, in the meantime, I'm gonna go get parts for my pickup, get some lunch. Yeah, I'm hungry. So, we'll get back after after lunch. What a tough life. There you go. You got the window now. So, just swung through. Got a Mountain Dew slushy from 7 Eleven. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I left the farm eh, like an hour, hour and a half ago. Got some lunch. Went to AutoZone. Got filters. Talk to my good buddy Phil Livingston from Railview Dairy talking about Madison County, Vermont, and mergers and life and everything else like that. So now we're headed home. Had to stop and get a, uh, some chrome bolts for the wheels, hold the hubcaps, the covers on. Uh, with that being said, they had to open it up, get me the bolts, and I know the guy. Open it up, get me the bolts, and then he had to bring them up to the front to the cash register. He said some kid got caught stealing chrome bolts from them, and he was switching them in the bag. And he was writing them down as the wrong thing, and they, they caught him. But he was putting like rusty bolts in the bottom of a bag and pretending like that was what was in the bag. It's all crazy world we live in. People are nuts. But we'll go home, get the chopper all washed up, get that switch back, get it together, then it will be at least ready for when we get into some more grass. I figure we're gonna get into some more grass, but we'll see. We've got to mow where my sister's getting married, so at least we'll chop that little spot. It'll be like four acres there, but I figure we'll keep chopping, but we'll see. I really gotta get a set of ski, ski goggles or something. I got so much stuff in my eyes. Well, haven't even started on the cutter housing. But as you see, it just gets caked with corn juices and hydraulic oil and that's really in there. Oh, I'm grabbing the metal piece. So that's the sharpening assembly right there. So I've got the processor to get cleaned up. Did one round. I'm gonna let it dry down so it stops dripping on my head, but got most of it off. Um, it's really tough to get into a lot of those spots. So this is the second time I've washed this chopper because I did a once over roughly uh, in that previous video. So I'll let that dry down, got that cleaned up. We'll get this cleaned up, we'll get all this junk out of it, get this greased. 
get that cleaned, get oils on, oil on the rollers, pack it full of grease, and put that away till next year. Just ran out of diesel. So, pressure washer makes hot water. Hot steam helps it come off. I got something in my eye. I ran out of diesel. Wonder where the diesel tank is. Diesel. No lead. So I had a lot of questions of what actually was going on as far as the chopper and grinding up feed. So cows eat the whole plant from top to bottom, the whole uh, ear of corn, they eat it all. So the key is making sure it's a digestible plant, making sure it's processed well. So what goes on, feed comes in through the head, comes in, gets fed through here. So you got an upper and a lower rollers Two sets the bottom one's the one with the magnet in it so it alerts for metal it comes through here this bar right here is a shear bar so it cuts against that so these knives which are dirty right now i gotta lift it up spin around like this and cut against the shear bar and as you can see that one's got a little nick in it it's from a rock so yeah rakes pick up rocks um but this spins around and that distance in between is your cutting length. So from there, when we're in corn, you have your kernel processor, which then the feed comes through the bottom of this. Right now it's opened way up, so you can see right through it. So I cleaned it up and you adjust it down. I run it about, uh, use a feeler gauge, um, run it about 1.2 millimeters of gap in between. So all the kernels, which the big part of this is so that the cows can digest kernels. Um, all the kernels come through here and they're crushed. And then your kernel processor score, as far as how good it's going, you take um, an amount of corn feet or corn silage when it comes in and you see how many kernels are not crushed. Um, and then you know how good your processor is doing. They do wear out and whatnot, the feed rollers. Um, this one, they put new rollers bearings in the year before I got this chopper. so really hasn't seen many acres um, but with that being said when hay is in that is not in the chopper so the only time that goes in is corn so from there all of this is going on the kernel processor sits right in here then the feed comes up through here if it's just for grass and you'll see in a minute or in a few minutes when I put it on there'll be a plate right here that then the feed goes right through so from there there's this big drum right there. It's like a giant fan, an accelerator. So that helps speed up the feed. And if that's worn out, then you can't blow it very far. Then it comes out the chute and goes into the truck. So a lot going on to get feed chopped. So it's not just grinding up feed. Um, it's cutting it into pieces. You don't want them too long. You don't want them too short. Um, same kernel processor you don't want the gap too wide it doesn't crush enough you don't want it too narrow because it takes a lot of power um, so with that being said that is what goes on with the chopper but as you see I clean this up so <clears throat> pack a bunch of grease in it each grease fitting has its own line then I'm gonna put oil all over these I'll let it dry down for a little bit I'll get back and clean the chopper up since when I blew this off it went on the side of the chopper and I still got some spots to clean up not much though it's looking a lot better so i'm getting better at cleaning these things that getting done 
I gotta figure out why it spits so much feed up. And there is some shields like that go in between places. So I'm wondering if it's somewhere in here. I do seal all of this off. Um, I gotta get new weather stripping to go in between the kernel processor. Hopefully that will cut down on how much corn juice and debris gets by it. But yeah, I'll finish this up and we'll get back together. All greased up, so bearings are good. A little bit of grease poking out. Now I'm gonna play some arts and crafts. We'll just paint the rollers with some oil. Get the drain bucket underneath. Makes a mess no matter what you do. So this is to keep it from rusting aggressively. As you see, just from when I stopped chopping till now, it's got some rust on it. You want to keep the edges sharp. Don't want it to all rust out. So, if I was quicker, I would have had it already pulled out. But I don't live in a perfect world, and I got a lot of things to do. So, doing the best I can right now. And then I just gotta get the chopper back together. Got it placed on that. Brother had to use the loader, so I'm moving material today. Being Sunday. So I'll get the chopper moved out. So I got more pans. I'm not actually sure what this pan, I think it's just a spare. Or no, that's the pan to the chopper. It's a spare pan to the chopper down on the bottom. This pan's for doing an earlidge. It's got ribs in it. Um not exactly sure why but that's what that is and with that being said someday i'd like to do earlidge earlidge snaplidge use use a combine head on the chopper take just the ear off chop the ear um since the chopper used to do earlidge and i have an adapter for it to run a deer head so currently don't have the land to do extra feed but I'd like to pick up and it would make a lot more sense if I got some further away land 50 acres or so maybe maybe less um, of land and I can do earlidge and then all I have to haul home is the ear the ear and the cob ground up but I don't have storage I don't have the land so those are the two things but someday plus it would look cool so, all about the looks but i'll go get the chopper move it up front get it positioned so when i can get some help i can get everything back in and be in a good boat here we go let's get this back together so this replaces i got one piece on it right now so this replaces the kernel processor that's the other one that hangs off right in here that goes in the back so they're slightly different depending on corn or grass based on how much room you got below it so get this bolted up take this off um put that piece back on there uh oh you're missing it on both sides oh no i took one off prior i think yeah it's right there see got the intermediate piping got the back of the cutter out again We'll seal this up a little bit. With Slid it back in. I really got to build a stand so I can do this by myself. Having somebody run loader that's shaky, sketchy while you're laying underneath here to put the pins back in. So these are in. Just got to tighten those. And this side, tighten that, put the belt on, put the reverser belt on, put hydraulics on. Slide that back in for, this is the actual solenoid that I didn't even get anything clean in the back here. You clean it and then you look at it and then you look at it. Granted, it will get another batch before it snows because it's going to run some 
grass, I think. So I'll put that cylinder back on, hook up the connections, grease it, and we're done for now. Well, now it's grease time. So, got that one all greased. We do have some jo joint boxes, junction boxes, that do a few grease lines. But like that one, that one, same on the other side. So, no auto lube here. They didn't know what auto lube, I think, was in 94. They might have. Got everything greased, but this line right there decided it wanted to blow apart, but I got it enough grease to run those bearings uh, for we might chop 10 hours worth this fall, maybe not even. So I'll have to put a new connection there. So somebody added these on because they ain't factory, but they work okay more of a headache in some places because you're going from American to metric and back and forth depending on what is in there but tighten this up I'm gonna put this cover on all by myself so I can't put that belt on before I put the cover on so I gotta figure that out but we'll get it done can't find any help so can't get that pulley right there on there and then get the cover on but everything else is ready to go so it's a good day it always takes longer washing than you ever think but this is ready to rock and roll for grass so yeah with that being said that'll do it i gotta pick up my mess i gotta push that kernel processor into the corner um pick up all my tools but appreciate you guys watching so if you haven't done so slide on over hit the like button make sure you subscribe really appreciate it i got uh so today is sunday thursday i'm headed west so hopefully i get some action of some things going on but that'll do it for now so thanks for watching